Hey man, what's happening? It's Cool Water, the digital dope man. Always keeping a plan in my hand. Coming back at y'all again with another podcast. We're going to delve into some uh, good conversation tonight. Talk about a couple quick things that ran across my mind. You know, I typically, like I said before, I, you know, I put a podcast like a current event. I ain't running none weekly right now. Not yet. It's coming, dog. It's coming. I wanted to talk about uh, black women. How about that? And what's been going on out here? If you've been watching the news, well, let me, let me say this first. I run a podcast, Barroom Chats. The podcast focuses on entertainment, politics, business, and culture. Barroom Chats podcast. Um... You're probably not going to find it under that if you go look for it on Spreaker. You have to type in cool water with a space. It'll show up. But I got to figure out how to make that pop because I still ain't went in there and did that. So, you know, I've been working on a lot of the technical side of things as it relates to the business. And then I've been going to a lot of little lectures, getting some real good games so I can come back and really be more proficient because most of the success in the internet world revolves around the data that you receive and the product or the services that you're offering and selling. So just depending upon how good they are, how well you execute and your ability to be able to stay out in front of the audience determines your success. So I've been getting some of that game and, uh, you know, it's proven to be pretty good. I'm seeing some differences in some of the way I'm in, in some of the things I'm doing in the way I'm moving. But uh, back to the topic at hand, black women and white men. As it relates to white supremacy or the Christian hegemony. On a global scale, domestic scale or what have you. Uh, a lot of you all probably seen. And may have heard about a white guy out of Texas named Austin Sheffield, who was from the city of Deep Ellum, which is right outside of Dallas. And um, Dallas is uh, probably a multicultural city. I won't say it's a black city like Houston. We know Houston to be a black town, a black city in its own right. And uh, they got a large population of black folks there. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> Deep Ellum may be more of a suburb outside of Dallas County, Texas. And uh, maybe a similar population of, I don't know how many people, you know, it may be a large number of white folks there with, with a black population as well. Ain't did the numbers on that. But Austin Sheffield was a bartender at a bar. And uh, uh, supposedly, I guess he got a little tipsy, got a little drunk while working at, on the job. This black chick named LeJohn Janique Lee, I guess goes up the wrong way. She goes up the, the, the road the wrong way, trying to drop off the girlfriend, I think according to her statement. Ends up blocking Austin in. And Austin retaliates very violently. 
If you haven't seen the video, I would suggest you type it in. Austin Sheffield beats up black woman. Uh, Austin. Approached. Ladeja, Ladeja Neek. And pulled his gun out. Which automatically, you know, would go into the 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 the, the means of, of of an assault charge in so many words. But he didn't assault her as of yet. But he pulled the gun out, said a couple of words to her. She says she's gonna call nine one one. He knocks the phone out her hand. She pops him in the mouth, and then the white boy starts wailing on her, hitting her uppercuts. All in the face, you know, knocking her upside her head. And she proceeds to just take the abuse because ain't much she can do. Across the street, there's two guys filming it. And they holler out, hey, bro, you that's a female, Blase Skippy in the third. You know, he got his punches off. He jumps in the whip. He goes. Eventually, he's caught. He gets charged with a misdemeanor, misdemeanor and uh, is released. And then start, and then there starts the onslaught of media, black outrage, protest, marches, and whatever else they came up with. So I believe at this point he's been upgraded to a hate crime an assault charge and carrying a weapon uh, somehow another violation on the job. Many people say that somebody should have ran and jumped in. This is the initial thought pattern of most black folks. Now, let me say this. Most black men typically will not fight a black woman, even if she hit us because we know we can hurt her. And most black women in their own right think they can whoop a black man just because they got the they got the they got the assumption that they can beat up on men. They think they for some reason or another they think they got the juice. But most men are not going to do that. The white boy is different. He comes with a savage chip embedded in him. You see what he do to his woman. You see what he do to his mama. His sister. He kill, 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 murder, murder, murder. You did. But the issue is. Black women got this thing where they think. And this is not all. They can whoop a man at will. Lede Janique or LeJohn or, 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 or LeJohn Janique Lee had no business putting her hands on that man because that instigated and incited the outcome to what could possibly be deemed the assault that she received and she could have got murdered real talk this white boy looked like he neo nazi mma fighter i can put money on it that he irish i can put money on that for sure the red beard the red hair that's an irish trait that's an irish style he might even be and i'm gonna say he may even be an irish he may be even Jewish, Irish, uh, an Irish Jew, a German Jew. You know what I mean? He may be in that category, but he also may still be repping neo-Nazi behavior. But for him to go off the way he did and tag that girl the way he did only shows the outrage and the rage that a lot of these white folk got brewing who are low-key white supremacists 
low key Christian hegemony supremacists. And 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 in the name of white supremacy, they ready to go to war with 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 the Negro. They ready to go to war. They ready to murder. They really want to hang. They really want to exert their power like they used to be able to, but can't because society didn't change. They can't hang us from trees no more. They can't put us on a on a on a stake and burn us. But this black woman. Thought she had the juice because he knocked her phone out his hand out out he knocked her phone out her hand she she thought she was finna show him a lesson listen ladies stop trying to engage with men as if you can whoop them you can't you can't you'll fool around and find yourself in a grave with the wrong dude Lysandra Bland, she was out there uh, 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 in, in, was that Minnesota, Wisconsin, or whatever, and got, got into the altercation with the police because she was popping off at the mouth and thought she had the juice. And then she ends up in a jail cell dead. Now, who knows what happened after that? But we know what the altercation was. We seen her slamming to the ground. You know, it went wrong. This, 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 this white boy got a, he got a, 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 a chip in him that will turn on in an instant and he'll kill, 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 murder, murder, murder. Like ain't nothing happened. Like ain't nothing happened. You see? And that's and that's something that you 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 all are gonna have to take into serious account because the waste the race war is, is looming. They building the story, they putting together the architect for the waste race war. They doing whatever's necessary to be able to get you all amped up so that you can begin to be able. To start fighting one another. We already got blacks against Mexicans. And that's been an ongoing war for some years. It just ain't talked about and publicized. But in Los Angeles, they know. Black folks out there know. And, and the essays out there, like they'll tell you, we run L.A. See? And it's been, it's you know, we got the Crips and the Bloods. But then you got the Crips and the Bloods and the Mexicans. And that's another story in itself. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so for me, it's one of them things, man, where you got to know what position to play and, and, and win. Most women are not trained in tactical warfare. They're not trained in military combat. Austin Sheffield went to military school academy. You don't think they train them how to do certain things? He has a certain skill set that the average person don't know. So if them dudes would have ran across the street, he won't draw the gun. He might have fired off. He might have fired off. You see what I'm saying? He might have fired off. It's just a matter of how, how far he was pushed. Before he did fire off. And that's one of the things that you have to understand. But I'm saying this to black women. Then I'm going to continue on. Y'all not a man. Stop thinking. You know, because this chick, she's a youngster. She's 24. White dude was 30. See, and, that, and, and, that, and that's another issue. See, the younger female, she thinks she got some type of jurisdiction over men. She thinks she got some type of power over men. She thinks that she can, you know, uh, run up in a situation and it's just going to work in her favor. Not understanding that you liable to get yourself murdered, killed, beat down because folks ain't coming with the, with the, with the respect to female mentality nowadays. If you're big enough to put it out, you're big enough to get your ass whooped. See, and that in itself is a problem. 
is a huge problem when you start talking about, you know, some of the some of the situations at hand in America. So sliding over past her, she now has a lawsuit, I think, against him and the bar that he worked for. Uh he is uh I think they showed him getting out of out of, you know, he was exonerated on some charges, but I think the, you know, the media and the people been out here, they've been waiting on him. See, now he got he got drama he don't need now. Cause you know, we in social media age, so this spreads like wildfire. But what you don't understand is it's a hundred thousand more motherfuckers like him waiting, lurking quietly biding their time so that they can activate their bestiality chip and go to war with 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 the black man and the black woman out here and the asian and 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 some jews and 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 whatever else they feel like they want to go against whoever they want to go against they waiting they hungry they thirsty you know what i'm saying they wanna they wanna they wanna get you know, they want to get uh, into some type of uh, altercation. You know, but sliding over to all that, these are planned, even if they're in, if they're, even if they're volu- involuntarily being acted upon, these are planned, orchestrated events that are loom- that's looming to the race war, that's looming to... Uh, Looming to people fighting each other over race, racial matters. People fighting each other over color uh, of skin and biases between one another about what you don't like about such and such and, 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 and what such and such don't like about you, you know, blase, blase, blase. This is an orchestrated event. This is the diabolical nature and the diabolical mindset of those that control the narrative. You see, and most people don't understand that. So it's not, this is not the last event that's going to occur. Once he get, Chipfield get him a good attorney, which he going to have to come up with. He'll probably get charged with a first, 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 first degree felony. It ain't gonna go no further than that. It's not gonna end up being. It's not gonna end up being, in my personal opinion, anything beyond that. He, I don't see him doing no jail time over that. I don't see him doing no jail time over none of that. I don't see none of that happening. I do see him probably have, you know, he's going to have to pay, pay, pay the attorneys. He's going to have to come up with some money. He's going to have to, you know, community service, you know, the usual shit that they do. He's going to have to apologize, play the game so he can get out the door un- unscathed. In her case, she's going to go back to being a nigga because I could see her behavior and her, her mindset that she had, you know, got some of that neighborhood in her. You feel me? And not coming from a, a probably uh, an astute background, it's going to lead her to probably not get all of the necessary actions are covered the way she needs to have them covered. So... You dealing with somebody, man, and you dealing with a beast out here. And this in its entirety is going to grow in in nature. Like I said, you know, you talk about urban cities across America, Houston, Atlanta, uh Detroit, uh south side of Chicago, um Miami, um Compton, South Central, uh some of the Bay Area. On and on and on. Uh, 
it's going to grow. This is the issue. Because see, white folk, because of Trump's nature and his mindset and his behavior, white folk are growing more confident in knowing that they have the law on their side, which is going to give them the right to want to jump. So now I've seen another video today with a white black woman. She parked in the wrong spot. But she said she wasn't in the wrong spot. White boy jumps out. He going ham. He cussing her out, calling them racial slurs. And then he hits her 11 or 12-year-old son in the face. She's, she masty. But because it's a lot of black women out here who are single. They don't have no man. The black woman going to be targeted the most because y'all the most reactionary because y'all don't know how to control your emotions. You don't know how to play the game to win. So you're going to get pissed off and become reactionary and vocal and do the shit that they say, the angry black woman syndrome that y'all do, which is going to lead you to getting your ass beat, which is going to lead you to possibly getting shot and killed. All in the name of you trying to represent yourself to the fullest as if you got the juice. Not being mentally savvy. Stop trying to fight men. You are not a man. You better off living to fight another day. That girl had to take them punches. She couldn't whoop that white boy once he got once he got the unloading on her. She couldn't do nothing with her, would he? And he probably MMA, mixed martial arts fighter. And he probably neo Nazi. He low key racist. You know, he got his, you know, he got his biases. And at the end of the day, guess what? It ain't gonna be a whole lot that's gonna happen to that white boy. Ain't gonna be a whole lot that's gonna happen to him. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 uh, it's imperative that we become savvy. I know T.I. jumped on the box. You know, he talking tough. And, you know, y'all down there in, in Texas, y'all need to da 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 Yeah, dude gonna get a little harassment for a minute. But is it advantageous for somebody to jump out there and do something stupid and put themselves in jeopardy and then the, 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 the actionary measures that you take only lead to you getting even more hemmed up than him because now you went and assaulted somebody with really no recourse involved. There ain't nothing coming out of it. You know, you had to catch dude in the alley somewhere. You got to catch him, man, when, ain't no, when, ain't no, when the camera ain't on. So when you get his ass beat, he walk away, don't nobody see it, which is hard to do because everybody filming now. See? But these dudes talking, man, and that's all y'all can do because most of y'all in the rap game, especially y'all making money like Tip, you ain't finna go out here, man, and jeopardize your family, man, and your career for that. You ain't you ain't ready to ride like that for them type of people, man. You sympathize for her, You feel the pain, but you can't rock with her like that because your shit is on the line. And you being monitored. So... It's just a matter, man, and I ain't going to be too long-winded. Important that white, black women understand when you're dealing with a white male, he in particular sees you as his lesser equal. You looked at in a lower state. You there to serve and be the servant. Y'all good for the sex? You know, the old saying go, uh, um, white, the white boys, they got that little saying, you ain't a man unless you slept with a black woman. Because they know the black woman is God. They know she the original, one of the original beings on the planet. And that goes off into them circles I was telling y'all about in that, that, that R. Kelly Illuminati video. You not a man until you get with her because she is the epitome of what a woman's supposed to be. She is the top of the line. If you can if you can if you can ride with her all night long, then you 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 ready to do it all the way to the to the to the to the wheels fall off. But he ain't gonna never look at you as his his as his his equal 
wife material, even though they might marry you, you still going to be looked at from a standpoint of being his lesser equal. Because they've been fooling with y'all since slavery. Impregnating y'all and all that other stuff, taking you, you know, and 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 and, and using you for their being. Stop trying to wrestle with these folks, and they even go with black men. Stop running up on black men like y'all can whoop us, man. Y'all can't. You'll find yourself hurt. But we typically, because we've been raised by our mamas and they was black women, we typically don't go that deep until. All shit that hit the fan, it's because we, you cheated, it's because, you know, you put us in a position where we got to fight our way out, whatever the case may be. We typically not going to hit y'all too often. Don't mean it ain't some brothers out there slapping them down. But at the end of the day, we, we, we typically not going to go that way. If, we, if you're a little older, young cats, they ain't got no emotional control, so they trying to hurt her. So watch what you do. Watch how you say what you say. Be cognizant of the fact that if a dude pull out a gun on you, you can't whoop him. If he knock the phone out your hand, bite your tongue. Go get your phone. Walk away. Live to fight another day. If you ain't tactically trained in how to use a gun, how to do martial arts, how to defend yourself, and really get that 911 call off, fall back, man. Fall back. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do them and end up dead. Hey, man, look, I'm going to get off of here. It's cool water, the digital dough, man. I just wanted to spit that juice real quick. Uh, but like I said, the race war is looming. It's coming. And you're going to have to make a determination on when to whoop somebody's ass and when to walk away. Because white folk don't have a control mechanism where they can control their temper from what I've seen with a lot of these videos on YouTube, male or female. They get hot. They get 38 hot quick. And then they go to spewing all that hate because that be who they really is. And it comes out. We're a little bit more seasoned to a degree. It take a little bit more to get us going. But black ladies, control your temper, man. Hey, man, I'm Cool Water. Peace to stay blessed. Make sure you subscribe to the uh, video on YouTube. Look for me on the podcast, man, at Spreaker uh, under Cool Water with a space. Uh, check out the blog is hip hop dead.com is hip hop dead.com where we talk about business, education, um, entertainment, culture, uh, politics, and then um, look for me um, on, on, on the podcast as well. That was something else I wanted to say. Oh, uh, check me out at digitaldoman.com. Hey, man, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace and stay blessed.